We're going to the Ogulmania market to see some bead making. And we're on our second trip show. We are at the market. We found the beads. These beads are so beautiful and they're made out of old bottles. So we're going to try and find the factory so we can actually see how it is made. But as you can see, there's lots of beads here. And they're just beautiful. Um, so these are the these are the older these are the newer beads and these are antique beads over here made out of bone ivory so we are on the road to the bead factory to see how these glass bottles turn into beads and turn out to be so beautiful. And uh, all the children are so cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> They're adorable. In bead making, we have um, five types of beads. That is the traditional bead making. The first one, we call it recycled antique bead. That is the old broken one. We rearrange it nicely in the modern fire. That is the finished product. And the second one also we call it recycled transparent bead. And that one we use broken bottles or empty bottles like this. We wash it nicely. After that, we smash it into smaller pieces. Then we get the chunks. And you can mix three, four, five colors. So now I'll use my hand to fill them. Then this one is ready for fire. When it's mild, we use these two pins. We use our left hand to press it this way. Use the right one to pierce the hole at the center of it. Press the bottom nicely. Turn it over and do the same thing. So we come around like this. A recycle transparent. Wow. Yeah. That's a great use to recycle bottles, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And the third one also we call it recycled glass powder bead. And that one also we use the same bottles, but we pound the glass with metal, mortar and a pestle, like what they are doing over there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, we are now on number, we are going to number four. Now we use the same pin to design it outside the bead. So you can fill the design outside, but it will never come so. Because we use the same glass to do the outside design. And the fifth one, special for chiefs and the queen mothers. And the name of that bead is called bottom bead. If you wear a bead or a necklace, you have to put big one at the center of it. And that one will attract people to see the type of bead that you wear. In our culture, the type of bead that you wear will show how important or how wealthy you are. And I would like to design one of the simple ones for you to see. The first thing you have to do is to build a firewood kiln. That is the oven over there. We use ant hill clay. That is the termite clay. Ant hill clay. I think you have seen a lot on the way. You know, the termite, they go deep into the ground, bring a good soil. There is a special saliva that they produce that makes the clay very sticky to stand for a very high temperature without breaking. We use this wooden bag to make it round, dress it nicely. We have different kind of shape. Round, smaller bead, tilapia fish, cross, star. Before we have a very tiny one. You know, in Ghana or in Africa, our women wear beads on their waist. These are some of the type of beads that make it for them. We place it at the center of the mood before designing. So
So after taping the first glass powder, I want all my lines to be straight and neat. Then I have to use my wooden pin to dress all the edges before adding new color to it. So now I'll make a round circle in it. The same, that's amazing. Yeah. It takes a lot of work. So now I finished with the bottom part. What I did at the bottom, I have to do the same thing on top. So now this one is ready. Then I have to fill it with the main color. So this one is ready for firing. And this one takes 20 to 35 minutes. And it's about 600 to 800 degrees Celsius. Twice the translucent one, take 30 to 45, 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. So now we can go to the far inside and you see how hot the kiln is. Yeah. Wow, that's how you polish them? Yes. It's all by hand. Yes. The polishing process takes 10 to 15 minutes. Wow. And we use sand and water, just sand, and make it to and fro. So I like to, this one is not yet ready. But I'll let you pour a little bit of water on it for you to see. Put it on the table over there for stringing. Then it's ready for marketing.